I'm Casper Beryl. I'm a trans man. I guess I'm also an artist and a writer. I think specifically in terms of graphic novels, I started reading them when I was pretty young, just because I think the like graphic medium is a lot better than just writing, and I'm a very visual person myself. One of the main things about my protagonist is kind of, he's a thief, um, and he's a mage, he like learns magic, and he can kind of turn himself to look like either gender, like male or female. When you're writing, one of the main things that everyone tells you is to write what you know. The reason they get caught is because of their own kind of habits and their, and like, just little quirks that they have. And I think when I kind of came out and when I started transitioning, one of my biggest worries was like, oh, what if the way I do a certain thing, what if the way I walk, what if that gives me away? And so I guess it kind of, I didn't even realize that that's what the influence was at first. And then I started to like think about it and think about where I wanted it to go. And I was like, oh wait, <laughs> I think there might be more here than I'm like, acknowledging, I guess. My main character doesn't have a name yet. Like, I'm awful at picking names. I'm very indecisive in general, I think. So why is a name so important? Names, to me, are important because, like, for me it took me ages to figure out what name I was comfortable with. I went back to my old name and it felt comfortable for me, but it wasn't right for me. Like, it was something that I had to figure out. And I think it's the same for my characters and that kind of thing, because I need to kind of figure out who they are. If I have the power to name someone based on experience, that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Yeah. I don't actually like usually have clothes that are like super important to me because I just kind of wear whatever but this is the one thing that I have that actually like means something to me. So I wore this for my formal and um it was kind of like I'd fairly fairly recently come out it'd probably been like a couple months maybe um that I'd been like properly transitioning so I was only really just getting comfortable like feeling like I could present masculine. It was a big thing for me to wear it because it was still, in my mind, it was still a risk, I guess. In terms of wardrobe, there was never really like a huge like transition for me in that sense because I was always quite feminine, like not feminine, masculine with what I wore. And so um, it kind of just like, it felt really natural to me. I didn't feel like I had to like go shopping for all new clothes and that kind of thing. The only point really was right before I came out, I kind of dressed very feminine. I think that was kind of like a part of it was me trying to convince myself I wasn't trans, if I'm being honest. I think when I came out, I kind of expected myself to become a different person. And when that didn't happen, it was kind of scary for me. And I think I had to kind of learn like, that I was still the same person, I just, like, looked right, I guess. <laughs> For a really long time I was worried that I wasn't going to stick with Casper. Like, it felt right, and I would hear people saying it, and, like, to refer to me, and I would, like, it... It was the same as, like, people saying my birth name. It was like I would... It made sense to me. But I was always kind of worried that, like, I would kind of go back on that, or like maybe I would change in a way that I felt like it didn't reflect me anymore. I think I was lucky with my experience in coming out. I think my biggest hurdle when I came out was my own kind of preconceived notions about it. When I was talking to other trans people, you hear so many like horror stories. And so like, it just becomes like ingrained in you, this kind of like, um, self-preservation instinct. I think I have certain days where I'm just like hyper aware of like my physicality and just like how I'm presenting, how I'm talking, if I'm saying any, like, if I'm talking too girly, which sounds like stupid because I'm 
this really big believer in like being anti-gender norms, I guess. It was difficult, obviously. I think like it's kind of just assumed that it's going to be a difficult thing when you come out as trans, but um, it was a lot of, I think it was like years and years and years of me just like not being totally sure. I think the moment where I decided that I wanted to transition was when I was really thinking about it and I asked myself when I'm like way older, when I'm like 80 or something, do I want to be an old woman or do I want to be an old man? And in my head it was just like it made total sense for me to be an old dude. Which is like, sounds kind of strange when I say it like that, but um, yeah, just, it clicked with me more, I guess. I'm a trans man. I guess I'm also an artist and a writer. I'm Casper Beryl.